Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Farming Simulator 22 as we continue our Swiss chocolate map here. And uh, this is my first chance to show you guys the add-ons that I've downloaded uh, since the last episode. I've showed this in the other two series as well. Uh, I've downloaded all the ones that they just came out with, the 1.2 patch or whatever they're calling it. Um, however, I also went ahead and downloaded some autoload trailers. Um, you guys, I mentioned that in the other two series if you're watching those. Uh, it may not come up as often in this series, um, but if it does, it's just I think it's just going to make things, life a little bit easier just to have some auto load trailers in there to be able to load stuff up a lot quicker. Um, but yeah, it's a new game, a new new uh, session for me, I should say. It's what I'm trying to say. Um, so I got to remember where I left off. Looks like we got our grass growing over here. It needs rolling. Um, I misunderstood what this rolling was. I figured out in my other uh, series. This is actually the, after you've planted your stuff, you need to roll it to um, get it to, I don't know, just be better fertilized or better, grow, whatever it is. It's going to give that extra 5% yield bonus that we don't currently have. Now, that is a different roller from the meadow roller. Uh, is it this roller? This is the grass roller, isn't it? Let's double check real quick. Um, our least equipment would be in here rollers this is a this is just a regular roller this is not the grass roller the grass roller is the did i get rid of the grass roller and i just picked this one up i might roll over these fields real quick and see if that makes any difference uh if if it's the same as what i saw in the other series i mean it could give us that extra five percent five percent doesn't sound like a lot but it adds up over time definitely i think worth doing if we can get over here and get this picked up real quick um other than that, there's a cool train. Hello, train. Oh, somebody did mention, and I haven't had a chance to look at it yet, that the grass that we painted here, if we want grass to grow in meadow grass, that if I go to the, not farmland, construction, uh, under the la decoration, I think it is, someone mentioned, or is it landscaping? Plants, might be landscaping plants. They said there was a meadow grass here, meadow. Okay, I think that's what it, we were looking for, is the meadow grass. I already grabbed this. Oh, that did put some meadow grass right there. Okay, what if I um, change the brush size, give me a big old brush, and put a big swath down here. That's not cheap, but that is definitely meadow grass. Well, I'm going to fill in at least this little bit. It's, it's definitely choosing up a lot of our money. Um... But there you go. So we're going to come back and do some more of it later uh, because it's very expensive. But at some point, we do want to try and just get some meadow grass out here because I just think it looks a little bit better. I might like leave a little bit of an edge here. We'll see. I'll have to think about that. But or maybe not. We'll see. But I think the meadow grass definitely looks a lot nicer in general. But uh, we did just spend a couple thousand bucks. So, you know, whatever. We got to We got to experiment. Now we've got this little patch right here that's in the middle of nowhere. All right. Let me uh, drop off this weight real quick. Get turned around so we can pick it up front. Although I don't know, we, know that we really need it for this particular device, but we'll grab it anyway, just so we have it. No sense leaving it in the middle of the field like that. All right, let's grab this metal, this roller, and see if this. And I just want to check one thing real quick, because this is the roller that's under this section right here. In fact, we see it right there, right? It's this Dalbo 1230 HD, and then there are the grass care rollers uh the one that i'm thinking of is the doll this one is the one that's the, the grassland big roller okay i knew there was a doll looking one i just can't remember uh i didn't think it was this one so the grassland mower uh, uh, rollers are flat uh whereas the ones that are for i guess field care are you know got little grooves in them It might be too late to roll this, but I want to try and see if it does anything. Did we already try this? I feel like I've already tried this, but maybe I'm misremembering. All right, the lower roller. Let's do one pass and then we'll 
get out and we'll check. I mean, it visually doesn't do anything. I do know that when you plant grass the very first time, if you roll with this roller, it does work. I do know that because that is what we figured out on the other other series, the uh, the normal um, Elm Creek series. But whether or not it does anything right now is the part that I'm curious about. All right, so let's get out and see if that did anything over here. Oh, I thought for a second it did because for right... Somewhere over here, it didn't have a rolling thing. So no, it looks like it would have only have to be when, we, when we've planted. And I think I might have already tried it on this map. And I apologize if I'm doing some repeat stuff here. But uh, figuring things out on one map and then remembering which one I tried on the other map. That's a bit of a challenge. But uh, we'll get this folded back up. If we had done it after we planted, I think it would have given us the bonus. And maybe it would have been lasted indefinitely uh, since grass doesn't have to be replanted after that. No big deal. We'll uh, Eventually, we're going to put something else on this field, I'm sure. But uh, for now, we'll just leave it as is. Uh, by the way, I don't know if I've mentioned it on this series yet. I did mention it on the other ones as well. They did change the leasing costs for equipment. So it's a little bit more useful to keep equipment around for, you know, longer periods of time. It doesn't cost you that big chunk of money every single month. You pay a bigger chunk. It's like it wasn't a 19. You pay a bigger chunk up front. And then you pay a certain amount per day and then you pay an additional amount per usage hour as well so if you're not using it you're just paying that smaller daily cost uh which i mean if you're not using it at all like ever it might still be worth turning back in and get picking it back up but stuff that you might use every couple of months so that you can avoid that initial cost is probably worth keeping all right uh let's check out some contracts actually before we do that let's check the used stuff we do have a cultivator and we do have the bale wrapper I had, did check this bell wrapper out before, and it's not bad, but don't think I want to pick it up right now. Um, all right, let's go grab us a contract. We do have a bailing contract here. Okay. Got some cultivating ones. If we had the really big cultivator, I might pick these up. Or the really big plow, I might pick these up. But none of these are, like, really the size of plow or cultivator that I feel like is worth doing um, for the cost that we're going to be spending into it. So we're just going to pick up the bailing one for now. We are going to borrow the items and we'll grab our mower okay so i missed the work mode thing down there um which you guys can only see when i hold down this button but you see work mode right there uh select work mode wide spreading if i somehow have missed that there is a different work mode then i don't know how to change that Maybe once we get it unfolded, we can change it. Where is this field? This is field one. Oh, wow. But it's in the top left corner, I'm guessing. It is. Let's get you driving up there. Um, so I can start bringing some other stuff as well. Um, best way to get there, probably just up this road and maybe cut across the rail track or maybe cut in back here. That might actually work. I'm not like that. Um, yeah, okay, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. That's unreachable. Uh, actually, we can come up this road. If we set the destination, just say we can come up here and we can take it from there. All right, so you're good. Let's grab the... Oh, I, did I pick up one of those? I must have picked up one or forgot I did. Um, or is that for this new contract that we just picked up? What is our? What are we supposed to be doing for this contract? Uh, mow the grass, dry it with a tether, and bale it. Oh, there's the tether over there. But anyway, so if we can change the work mode, we can figure that out then we can avoid having to um, use the wind rower because that thing will, well, I say that once we tet it, we might have to still wind row it. But if we were going to do silage instead of tetting, then we could potentially avoid wind rowing in between. And that's what somebody had mentioned on one of the comments that I knew it was possible, but for some reason I was just missing the setting for it. Um, it just wasn't, I just wasn't seeing it, so. Let's get you going there. 
I'm going to grab our... Wow, that was rude. I mean, for us, probably more than him, but still. Let's grab our tractor, get it back over here, and pick up that um, wind rower. We can see now with this corn gone. We're getting late soon. I probably should slow down time here in a minute, but a little bit of light for now. I mean, it's a lot of shadow. I mean, there is sunlight out there, but it's definitely a lot of shadow covering it over. Got a lot of equipment over here. I oh. <laughs> I'm sitting here staring at my equipment over there and not paying attention to what I've actually hooked or unhooked over here. Same thing. You can come over here, set destination, go there, go there. All right, mower is there. Nice. Oh, it turned quickly. This cross isn't very tall that we're mowing right here. Makes me wonder if, if, um, I think we did mow it at the right time on ours. There's work mode. I just didn't have it un uh, unloaded. Swath dropping. Left swath. Right swath. Interesting. I mean, I guess it doesn't hurt to do a swath dropping, even if we're going to be doing the, uh, Actually, I think it's harder to do um, the uh, heading if it's got a swath because you're having to drive over that hill. So we'll leave it as wide for now, but knowing that we can do that in the future. Oh, apparently I started too too soon, but that's okay. We'll come back for that. Um, you get up here. When it comes back. Oh, actually, we may have to do a sideways pass because of the, how close the railroad track is. So we'll let him come back and then we'll do like a couple passes back and forth manually and um, go from there. Actually, going to have this guy go back and pick up the next piece of equipment. this off over here. All right, let's go grab our mower real quick. Um, dismiss worker. Let's do a couple of back and forth passes just to give us a little, I, I may only need one pass actually, just to make sure that we have enough. Turn on mower, lower mower. I'll also do a second pass on the way back, just, just be safe. I say I'm not even gonna lift it up. I know we're mowing stuff that we don't need to be picking up, but who knows, maybe some of this will get collected. You never know. I doubt it, but don't hurt nothing. Alright, there we go. 
So we'll lift him over, turn it up, turn it off. And we'll get the work of doing the rest of this. It's not a huge field, actually. Um, decent amount of money. Should take very little time. There we go. Alright, uh, let's grab you, get you doing some tedding. I think you can go ahead and start now. That guy's going to go pretty quickly. Alright, let me slow down time just to get this going. I'm also going to wait for that guy to turn around down there before I start you. Um, I mean, while you can turn around and go back to the store. I did the same thing I did earlier. Keep dropping the weight because I keep having the wrong thing selected. Hello, train. All right. Can you make it back to the store from here? Let's see. Come over here somewhere. You'll be able to figure it out. You might be. I think so. All right. You can go ahead and be hired worker. I love that mower. <laughs> it's so awesome. <laughs> so much a good mower. You are going to be able to make it out of here. For some reason, maybe I clicked on a spot that was like the fence or something like that when I was trying to get the guy to come over this way. Who knows? Alright, well that's going. Let's check in on our cows. Make sure they're doing alright. Um, we've got a whole 259 liters of milk. Awesome. They do need some more... Well, I say they need more food. We want them to eat up the hay and the grass before we start making some TMR. So we'll hold off on that. Um, puberty's coming along just fine. Reproduction's coming along just fine. And... Uh, they'll need some more straw at some point. Uh, we'll have to eventually get ready to empty out the slurry as well. But we can hold off on that for now. Random question mark over there. I what that's for. Oh, okay. How to do wood stuff. Nice. All right, let's get this. We're not going to run the baler with this. just because it's not a big enough tractor, but we will should be able to at least pull it over there. I hope. <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> that baler is twice as big as this tractor is, though. Very entertaining to see. I must say so. It's barely going to be able to pull it over there. All right. Let's get you heading that direction. Come on. Where's the map? There we go. Um, just come up to this road, right? Uh, we can still come up here, I guess. It'll work. Okay. You're doing your thing. Mower is almost done, actually. Looks like he's got one pass left over there. I mean, he missed a little bit here on the ends, but I don't think it's going to matter that much. As long as you get in the bulk of this here. One bad thing about the mower, which I say bad thing, it's not really a bad thing because of how awesome it is, is that um, once you're done with mowing, <laughs> that's all this thing can do. <laughs> like, there's no... can't really hook up a... A windrower or a, uh, anything else. Let's 
you off to the side over here. Alright, you're done. You are cruising along very slowly, but you're going to get there. You are doing what you need to do. Looking so far so good. All right, so what's next on our plans? I mean, what do we what do we need to do? I mean, we're waiting for some grass to grow in our field. I mean, there's that. Um, we've got the, the silage. We do need straw and we do need hay. So the grass in our field is going to be turned into hay so that we can make TMR. Um, probably use a couple rounds of that, right? We need a couple rounds of the TMR to be okay. So if we... We do this if we if we grow grass I, I can't remember if i've already talked to this or not i again different different series i've got to, i may repeat a few information but that's okay um we'll mow the grass next in december and then i think it should grow again by march february march which means we could plant oats which would be a way for us to get some straw very quickly and they can go back to grass so that would be a really good option i think i need to figure out my sugar beets i was kind of hoping for a sugar beet harvesting contract actually which we never got just a bunch of plowing contracts do i bother cultivating i mean field three what does field three look like let me right up here by us i mean it's all right i mean it's there it's it's mostly square. It would take a decent amount of time to do field three. But not necessarily forever. And we might still make some money off it. And one th option I could do is I could borrow from field eight because the exact same equipment, but cheaper, do field three and then field eight and make a few thousand bucks. That actually might not be a bad idea because it's not the worst cultivator there in the world on that one. Wait, is that a... Why do you have a big cultivator? Is that one bigger? It looks... Potentially bigger. Or at least the same size. Let's go see if we can figure out those two different cultivators here. Cultivators! So we've got the... Dark blue one here, right? And it's this blue one? Lemke, Lemkin? This one's 8.4 meters. And then it's one of these two. One's 8.2, one's 6.9, whatever the wheels are. I'll have to double check here in a second. 6.9. 6.9 is not that much smaller. 8.2 would be almost exactly the same. So which one of these is it? It is the smaller one, right? Yeah, that's the 6.9. But 6.9 for 494 bucks. Honestly, no, for 649, we might as well go a couple extra meters and that's going to be okay. Right, because that one is. Oh, that one's this one. Oh wow, no, never mind. No, this one is bigger. This one's bigger by three point three. I'm looking at the wrong thing. This one's bigger by. I was looking at the, the tonnage. Oh my goodness. Uh, this one's six meters. Uh, this one is five point seven to eight meters. So this one can actually get wider. This one's five meters. And then this one over here was 8.4, which we're not even looking at that one. So this one's five. And the one that we can get for cheaper is at least as, it's actually a little bit bigger already and it can actually go even bigger than that. So, I wonder if that's just like dependent on how it's configured or if you can actually widen it. Either way, it's gonna be bigger and it's gonna be cheaper. So why not? Let's go pick up a couple cultivating contracts. We'll grab you. We're gonna Borrow items from this one. I'm almost tempted to borrow items from two of them just to get them all done real quick. But no, we'll just borrow items from one. And then we'll take the big contract. And finish that one first. So we'll grab you. Apparently you don't need to wait, which is fine. I can actually line up here. Oh, whoa. That was a little weird. Apparently some of the bugs are still in the game. I'm going to drive with all my lights on. 
because it makes me feel happier. All right, we're going to get you to get over to field three. Which is right over by where we're at. Make sure you can head up over here. Um, you can drop this off over here in a second. Very slowly. Let's drop you off at the end over here and then we'll take a left and uh, head back to pick up the next piece of equipment. Actually, you know what? This guy... This guy should be able to do the wind rowing. So we'll grab you, help you pick, grab the wind rower and start doing that now. We can send the other guy back for the, the trailer later. Or whatever we end up doing. Go work or go. About to do your final pass. You're cruising along. You're actually there. So we can get you. I guess we'll go north to south. Apparently this one is the narrower of the two options, or unless I'm missing something. I don't see a way to make it any wider. Fold cultivator, lower cultivator. Yeah, it looks like that's as wide as it's going to get. So, which is fine. It's still as wide as the other option that we had. So I'm not worried about it. It's just, I was hoping it'd be the widest option. All right, work or go. It's still pretty decently wide. Uh, it's not going to take us long to do this. Tractor's going to be able to cruise along just fine. We may have to finish this tomorrow, though, as far as the next day. Uh, you're doing your thing. You are done. You are done. I'm going to fold you up. Drop you off over here. Pick up the baler, which we can actually start doing now. And actually, we're going to put a cut in there. When we come back, we'll finish up some of these contracts. Fast forward to a new day and um, go from there. I mean, hopefully these contracts give us a little bit of money. Uh, where are we looking at in the money situation? And um, we've lost 35000 bucks today. A big chunk of that was because I planted a bunch of, bunch of plants. <laughs> so whatever. But we did get a new vehicle as well. But I think with these contracts, we, we can make a pretty big dent out of that. And then hopefully... Very soon, start making some money coming back in our direction, but we'll see. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye.